R is a relation on a set A. Let A comma belongs to A. If A is related to B, then we write it as A R B for every A comma B belongs to A. Now I discuss the types of relations. A relation R on a set A is called reflexive. If A comma A ordered pair A comma A belongs to A R for every A comma belongs to A. And a relation R on a set A is called symmetric. If A comma belongs to R implies B comma A belongs to R for every A comma belongs to A. Third one, transitive relation. A relation R on a set A is called a transitive relation if A comma belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, then A comma belongs to R for every A comma B comma C belongs to the set A. If a set possesses all these three relations, we say that that relation R is called an equivalence relation. of all the relations, reflex relations, symmetric and trans relations, then the relation R is called equivalence relation. I will give one exam, examples one by one. Suppose R is a relation on set A is equal 1 comma 2 comma 3 is given by R is equal to 1 comma 1 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. 1 comma 1 means it is 1, 1 belongs to A, 2, 2 belongs to B and 3, 3 belongs to A cross A. Now we say that this relation R is a, a reflexive relation. R is a reflexive relation. So clearly R is a reflexive because a comma A belongs to R Next. another example. A relation R on a set A is given by 1 comma 2 comma 3 is given by R is equal to 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1. Now a relation R on a set A to 3 is given by R is equal to 1, 2, 2, 1 is it is a, a symmetric relation. 1 is 2 and 2, 2, 1. For every A comma B belongs to R, then B comma A also belongs to R. So it is an example for it is a you know equivalence, it is a symmetric relation. But it is not a transitive and a reflexive relation. R is a relation on set A, 1 comma 2 comma 3 is given by R is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 1 comma 3. See here. Here the element 1 comma 1 belongs to R. And next 1 comma 2 belongs to R, 2 comma 3 belongs to R, then 1 comma 3 also belongs to R, it is in the set. So this relation is a, a transitive relation. Let R is equal to x comma y such that x and y are in the same locality. If x comma x Look, lives in the same locality. So it is a the R is a x comma x belongs to R. This implies x is the same person lives in the same locality. So R is a it is a reflexive relation.
x comma y belongs to R, this implies y comma x also belongs to R because x and y live in the same locality. In the same case, y and x also lives in the same locality. So we say that here R is this implies R is a symmetric relation. If x y belongs to R and y z belongs to R, it means x and y live in the same locality, y z also live in the same locality implies x and z also lives in the same locality. So, this implies R is a transitive relation. Here, the set we say that the set R is a equivalent, is it is an equivalence relation. Look, children. So, this is a exam, best example for R is to say that R is an equivalence relation. R is a satisfying, it is it is reflex relation, symmetric relation and trans 2. So, from this 3 we can say that R is an equivalence relation. Another example. So, can you say that R is equal to x y such that x is greater than y where x comma y belongs to n is an all equivalence relation. Here it is R is not an equivalence relation because x comma y belongs to R x cannot greater than x. Example, we know that 2 cannot greater than 2. This implies that R is not reflexive. Next, if x comma y belongs to R that means x is greater than y for every x comma y belongs to n. So, y cannot greater than x. y cannot greater than x. Example, 3 is greater than 2, but 2 cannot greater than 3. That implies R is not a symmetric. Next, if x comma y belongs to R and y comma z belongs to R, this implies x is greater than z. That means x comma z belongs to R. It is clear or true. Example, 3 is greater than 2, where 3 and 2 are natural numbers and 2 is greater than 1. So, we can say that 3 also greater than 1. That means the relation R is a is a transitive relation. So, here the relation cannot say is not a reflex one symmetric and it is a it is a transitive relation hence the relation is not a equivalence relation. So, it is an example for R is not an equivalence relation. Students I will do textbook problems. Show that the relation R in the set of, of integers given by R is equal to A comma B such that 2 divides A minus B. Show that the relation R in the set Z of integers given by R is equal to the set such that A comma B such that 2 divides A minus B. The relation R it is clearly is reflexive relation. Children, since you know that for any two numbers A and B, if 2 divides A minus B, then we write this as A is congruent to B modulo M, B modulo 2. 
A is congruent to B modulo 2. It means that 2 divides the difference of uh, 2 numbers A and B. Now, you want to show that this relation is uh, an equivalence relation. Clearly, R is reflexive. A comma A belongs to R, that means the difference A minus A is equal to 0, A comma A belongs to R, the difference A minus A is equal to 0, clearly 2 divides 0, so R is reflexive. If A comma belongs to R, that means 2 divides A minus B. I can also write this is, is 2 divides B minus A. The difference of two numbers is also divisible by 2. So, we say that R is symmetric. If A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, that means 2 divides A minus B and 2 divides B minus C. 2 divides A minus B and 2 divides B minus C, then the sum A minus B plus B minus C is equal to A minus C, which is also divisible by 2. Or 2 divides A minus C. So, this implies R is a transitive relation. So, R is reflexive, R is symmetric, R is transitive, hence R is equivalence relation. Here, hence R is an equivalence relation. So, the question is clearly shows that R is an equivalence relation. Uh, see children, there is a question on equivalence relation. Let A, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on 9 is a set and R is a relation in A cross A defined by A comma B or C D, A, A plus D is equal to B plus C for A comma B and C comma D belongs to A cross A. Prove that R is an equivalence relation and also obtain the equivalence class 2 comma 5, the set 2 comma 5. So, it is an important question for 4 marks. So, this type of questions will be asked in a board examinations. The solution is like this. A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma so on 9. It is given set and the relation is given is defined by A comma B or C D is equal to A plus D 
is equal to b plus c, where a comma b and c comma d belongs to a cross a. We want to show that this relation R is first, it is reflexive, it is symmetric and it is a transitive relation. The first A B or A B, this implies A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, we say that it is R is a reflexive relation or R is simply reflexive. Here for every A comma B belongs to A cross A. Second one, if A comma B or C comma D, this implies A plus D is equal to B plus C. So, it means A plus means the extreme, sum of the extreme terms is equal to the sum of middle terms, where A and D are extreme numbers and B and C are middle numbers. So, we can use this condition to for showing that R is a symmetric relation. D plus A is equal to C plus B. So, this implies C comma D or A comma B. C plus B is equal to D plus A. So, this implies R is symmetric. See here, if A B or C D implies A plus D is equal to B plus C, so we can write D plus A is equal to C plus B or C plus B is equal to D plus A. This implies C D or A B. So, R is a symmetric relation. Now, I will take if R A comma B or C comma D and C comma D or E comma F that means A plus D is equal to B plus C and C plus F is equal to D plus C. A comma B or C comma D implies A plus D is equal to B plus C it is given. In the same case, C D or E F is equal to implies C plus D, D plus E. C plus F is equal to D plus E. A plus D is equal to B plus C and D plus E is equal to C plus E F. I will write this as D plus E is equal to C plus E F. Now, the subtracting these two, A plus D minus D plus E is equal to B plus E minus C plus E F. This means A minus E is equal to B minus E F. So, this I can write as